Hello everybody, welcome to Series 3 of the Ultimate 8 Week Challenge here at Fit Club Boxing Studio. Great to see you all again, although I can't see you, you can see me, and that's the important part, okay? So we're going to be going through some um, different topics this, uh, this series, and we're going to be building on what we did in Series 2. If you have any uh, questions about Series 2 topics, you can go back onto our website, have a look there, and you can get all that info from there, okay? Um, so let's get straight into it. Week 1 is going to be about proper preparation. Now, I'm sure that most people have heard about the five Ps, the proper preparation prevents poor performance. Um, there is a sixth one, but <laughs> that, that might be a little R-rated, so <laughs> proper preparation prevents poor performance is what we're going to run with, okay? Um, the first point that I want to make, now there's five key points are about proper preparation. Uh, the first key point is check your pantry and check your fridge, and I want you to throw out or give to your enemies any of those high processed foods um, and any of the junk food that you've got in your pantry, okay? That's gonna be key because if it's in your house, you're going to snack on it. If it's not there, you're very unlikely to go on a drive to the supermarket to go and get a snack food just because you feel like it at the time, okay? So if it's not in your house, you're not gonna eat it, all right? So like I said, either throw it away, give it to charity, or even better still, if you, if you don't like somebody, give it to them so they can eat it, okay? But get it out of your pantry. That's key number one. Tip number two. You've got to prepare your meals before you go and do your grocery shopping, okay? Don't just ad lib it, don't head off to the grocery store because you're going to be throwing a lot of stuff that you don't need into that trolley, okay? So sit down before you go and do your groceries and plan out your week in advance, okay? That's going to be key because you want to know what you're eating for dinner, you want to know what your lunches are going to be. So breakfast, for instance, they need to be quick and easy. You don't want to be preparing a huge thing for breakfast. So oats, banana, honey, something simple like that, right? But make sure it's prepared so that you know exactly what to buy. Lunches, for instance, you need to be able to prepare them the night before so you can take them to work. Uh, you don't want to have to go out and buy Subway or, or anything like that. You want to have those meals prepared. So make sure your lunch meals are easy to prepare and get them set before you do the grocery shopping. Same with dinner. Uh, make sure it's lots of fresh foods. You don't want to come home from a hard day at work and have to spend two hours cooking. So all you want to be able to do is cook that bit of protein and put lots of fresh veggies or salad on the plate and then you're ready to go, okay? So prepare before you go and do the grocery shopping. That's tip number two. Tip number three. Never do the grocery shopping when you're hungry, okay? If you go and do the grocery shopping when you're hungry, supermarkets love that. You're gonna be putting tons of stuff that you don't need into your trolley. And have you ever noticed, when you go to the um, register at the end, there's all those chocolate bars there, okay? That's for when you're finishing it and you're hungry and you, you want something quick and easy, you'll grab that, okay? You don't wanna get those impulse purchases because you are always going to buy something that's bad for you but is always really quick and easy. And they're the high process stuff that's gonna be horrible for you and is gonna translate into poor performance when you come in and do your workouts, okay? So make sure that you don't do it hungry. Um, so pick your times to do your grocery shopping. That's tip number three. Okay, tip number four, and probably the most important one. Spend a little bit of time on the weekends preparing the food for the week ahead, okay? If you've um, set up your right meals and you've set them up correctly and they're healthy and nutritious, most of your lunch meals should be able to be made on the weekend and stored in the freezer, okay? Um, same, same goes with all of the other meals. If you prepare them the night before, you are going to be prepared then for when you go to work and you go, oh man, I'm, I'm really hungry, bang, the food's there, okay? It's ready to go. Spend an hour or two on a Sunday cooking up those healthy meals, okay? Make sure it's done because if you don't, you'll make an excuse, you'll go and do, you'll go to the KFC, you'll, you'll pick whatever's quick and easy at work and, and we all, most of us work here in the city um, and there's plenty of fast food places, there's not a lot of healthy eating to be had in the city. Uh, so make sure you prepare beforehand. Uh, that's going to be that's going to be key. All right. So that's tip number four. Probably the most important one. Make sure you stick to it. All right. Tip number five. Stick to the plan. Don't be lazy. Don't make excuses. If you follow those first four steps, your your nutrition is going to be great. That's it for week one. Thank you very much for watching. Um, so I'm hoping you all get into the club and attend as many classes as possible. Remember, this is first week of eight week challenge. So let's ramp it up, people. Let's ramp it up. I want you to get in. I want you to really give me some good intensity. And I want to see everyone here this week. See you soon.